Who are you? Where am I? I don't exactly know. But it looks like some kind of air raid shelter. Air raid shelter? I have a wife. Don't you dare open that door! I am not taking orders from someone I don't even know! You're all wet! Think about it, hothead. If we manage to get in here, chances are they're in one too. Look around this place. Everything's built for two people. They stuck you in here with me because I was on my own. Maybe you're right. Sorry, it's just... It's all right. Who the hell wants to wake up in a place like this without their family anyway? So what is your name anyway? Theodore Minor. But everyone calls me Teddy. Theodore Minor? You work for the tabloids? Yeah. Yeah, the PM. <laughs> I read your articles practically every day. Thanks. I'm glad somebody reads them. I like your conspiracy theories. They're not conspiracy theories. Only because nobody believes me, it doesn't mean they're not true. Calm down. I wasn't calling you a liar. It's just what people say. Well, maybe you should listen to everything you hear. <sighs> and maybe you shouldn't find a fault in anything anyone says. I was trying to pay you a compliment. Sounds more like you're accusing me. Sounds to me like you're used to being accused. Only because people think I'm a liar it doesn't mean I am. <laughs> You're really fixated on proving yourself not to be a liar. Well, I guess in your line of work, you deal with a lot of things that people don't believe in. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You look worried. There's something on your mind? Yeah. Yeah, I guess there is. Well, you might as well tell me. It's not like there's a world of entertainment in here. Now, I don't want you thinking I'm crazy. You're going to be the only person I see for quite a while. I don't want that one person to think I'm some kind of freak show. I promise I'm not going to judge you. Come on, just, just say what you got to say. Well, I've been looking into some things. Some plans the government has for the war. They're creating this kind of super weapon. They got a group of scientists working on this thing. They say it can take down a nation. Could you imagine? One device that could end a war, destroy cities, kill thousands, maybe even millions of people, and they don't want anybody to know anything about it. I heard from people in Chicago, in Albuquerque. And Oak Ridge, out near Knoxville. The Brits are working on one as well. And they're going to get thousands of people working on it. All keeping it a secret. Probably keeping it a secret from the Krauts and the Japs? Think about that. Don't you think they already know about it? I mean, I'm not asking them to go and hand out the designs. I just think people ought to know about this kind of thing. Yeah, maybe you're right, kid. You're a smart kid. I can see why you're a writer. Thanks. So what's it like, working for PM? Where did you get that? It's on the table when I woke up. I guess it must be part of the supplies. Something to keep us sane. Keep you sane, maybe. But I'd rather have something to read. I thought I ought to better write an article. Something about living down here. Anyone outside the army will be able to relate to it. Mm. Sounds good. You gonna sleep? No. I'm going to stroll down to the local theater and maybe catch a show. Pretty funny. Kind of tarnished by the fact that might not even be a theater when you get out of here. 
Great. You not always say the most depressing thing that comes to your mind. It's kind of hard considering I made a living out of it. You go on writing, and I'm going to pretend I'm not locked in a metal box for a while. Life inside the bomb shelter. Protection or a warning of things to come. <clears throat> no. Life in the bomb shelter. Sanctuary or sanction. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the metal shell with no windows and only two doors. One to the toilet, which I feel oddly lucky to have, and the other leads to the unknown. Out there it could be soldiers storming the streets, or bombs blasting the boulevard. The world I know might be lost, which means I might be writing this to no avail. But I won't give in. As long as I'm alive, I'll try to find a way back to the world I knew. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep writing. There's beef on the counter. Maybe you should be more worried what part of cow it is. For the love of God. Isn't there anything else to eat around here that's a bit less suspicious? Well, there's fruit. A canned fruit is mostly sugar. You're just too used to fancy restaurants. You know, some of us actually eat at home. Some of us even cook. You cook? What about your wife? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I do enjoy it. No, I won't go telling everyone that. People will start thinking there's something wrong with you. Have you ever wondered why things are advertised to be so easy to use that even a woman can do it? Most men wouldn't even do it. I don't pay too much attention to advertising. No, it's probably better in your line of work. I didn't ask. What is it you do? Oh, I'm in advertising. Really? No, I'm kidding. I used to be a doctor. Mostly general stuff, but I did specialize in skin diseases, abnormalities, that kind of thing. Sounds interesting. Well, I mostly could deal with coughs more now than anything. Really? Why? I mean, surely there must be plenty of people out there you could be better used to. Well, my life isn't too good at the moment. I, um, I had stopped working for a while, and um, now it's gotten to a point where no one is going to give me a real job anymore. What happened? Oh, holy. You okay? Yeah. Must be the food. You know what I really want? I want a cheeseburger. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to get myself a cheeseburger, and I don't care about rations. I'm going to find my little girl, and I'm going to make us some cheeseburgers. Sounds good. I just want to get back to Manhattan. And I put you down as a Brooklyn kid. <laughs> I'm from Manhattan, too. Really? Well, if we're both from Manhattan, we're not too far from home. Maybe these bunks are underground. You found yourself something to investigate, huh? Yeah. I'm not going to find anything out when I'm stuck down here. Well, you got to find something to occupy your mind or else you'll go insane. Yeah. But what does it do down here? The place is boring the hell out of me. And here I was, thinking I'm a great weaver of stories. I'm sorry. I don't know what I mean. I'm tired.
Yeah, go ahead. I'll just try and see how much I can finish of this before I have to throw up. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. Must be the food. Starting to think there's something wrong with one of those cows. It looks okay to me. And I heard the cam food can last a good while. Which one was it you ate? Don't know. Pork or Chicken, I'm pretty sure it was meat, though. Could have been that bad. Your hands. They're shaking. That's got to be more than just the food. Well, remember when I said that my life wasn't too good? Might as well tell you the whole story now. I used to love my job. Maybe a bit too much. My wife and kid, they never get to see me. And I just, I just wasn't there enough. So my wife found someone who treated her better. She took my little girl and she just left me. Since then, I spent all my money on booze. As much as I could get. <laughs> I lost, lost my wife because of the job. And then I lost my job because of the booze. Now I'm in here. I'm falling apart. Everything is falling apart. <laughs> falling apart. My companion in this nightmare is sick. He spent years drinking too much. And now without it, he's shaking and vomiting. I don't know how much longer we can stay here. Sarah? Where did you get that? It's on the shelf. My daughter had a box just like that. Here, you keep hold of it for a while. Thanks, kid. I lay 
is killing me. Let me have a look. Hey, I'm the doctor here, kid. You just let me see. Whoa. What are those? I don't know. Look, it's probably nothing. How long has it been like that? I don't know. A couple of days. Maybe a week. It looks pretty serious. Well, then I'll have to get it treated when we get out of here. You should have told me. Oh, yeah? Should have told you. I'm sure you would have felt so much better having an alcoholic doctor trapped in here with you and having an infected leg, yeah? Look, it's probably nothing. We might even get out of here and everything will be okay. I admire your optimism, kid, but we're not going to get out of here anytime soon. Kid, if this lasts much longer, you have permission to eat my corpse. It's got to be better than whatever's in those cans. <laughs> that is not funny. You might want to avoid the legs, though. Pretty sure those purple patches aren't good. My head's spinning. I'm going to lie down. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Ah. Walter! Walter! Oh. Kid, I'm not gonna last much longer. There's nothing I can do. Walter, you're the doctor. There's gotta be something you can do. No, listen to me, kid. Listen to me. No. No, you listen to me. You don't... Listen to me. There's something wrong in here. I know what's killing me. Purple blotches? It's radiation. What are you talking about? You're working on a bomb. A device you've been looking into. It's real. You see what it's doing to people. If it doesn't kill them right away. How do you know this? Because I was supposed to work on it too. I didn't want to. I told him I didn't want that. I wanted to help people, not help them kill people. But they kept making me help them. They didn't stop until I had threatened them that I would help people. Some, some sort of biological weapon. You have to live, you have to get out of here, you have to tell people. I'm not leaving you here. <laughs> not like this. No one will believe me. You've got to come with me. Stop making excuses, Teddy. You're a writer. A damn fine one. You have to remember that. Please. Please, you have to tell them. Please. I will. I will, Walter. Good kid. Morning, Walter. Uh. <laughs> mm. See, I told you, Walter. Meat's not so bad after all. Mm. Oh, shit. I 
I'm scared, Walter. I'm scared. Soon I'm gonna run out of food. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of air. 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 Walter, there's gotta be an air canister in here somewhere. Something to take in all the carbon dioxide. Like in the submarines. I can use it to blow the door open. Walter, it's open. I've done it. This is it.